Greetings, Earthlings. This is your good pal Moniker playing uh, Cave Story. Um, last time we uh, we uh, freed some eggs from the ovaries of uh, an inscrutable beast, and uh, this time we're going to uh, we're going to vi visit a little place called Grass Town. But before that, we're going to uh, witness um, a little torture scene that is. Um, scarily uh, exciting there's that glutton he uh no one seems to mind that he's like you know f quickly going through the uh, the city's food stores but I guess they're all disappearing at uh, an alarming rate since the uh you know Kevorkian is euthanizing the lot of them um yeah Sue just demands like all sorts of things from everybody that she encounters including you know how about you go and uh, save the entirety of mankind, you person who cannot speak and um, whom nobody uh, seems to know. Um, so let's go to uh, to Grass Town. Um, I've never been to Grass Town myself. I uh, I never touch this stuff. Um, I don't think that's a cool thing to do, um, but obviously um, Santa does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he got a little paranoid and uh, you know locked himself out of his home. So uh, we're gonna go help him out because he would do the same for us. You know, he's been uh, you know the scapegoat for uh, you know kids not getting what they want for Christmas since you know Victorian England. So I wonder when. Uh, you know, Santa Claus became the de facto head of Christmas, and you know, because that's uh, what is that Spanish? So I'm guessing that's that's an American thing. All right, let's go hook up Santa. Um, but Grasstown has arguably the best music in the in the game. Um, yeah, that is the key to your house. Good thing you're uh, you're coming to here, buddy. You're uh you're showing signs of uh of intelligence. All right, yeah, he's getting his fire on and oh, he's got his fire ball on. Santa's uh strangely equipped with uh magical arms. Let's see if uh. If he's a good enough chap to let us, ah, yeah, he'll even offer his bed to us. He is a uh, a world-class gentleman, an officer and a gentleman, if you will. Um, so let's try out this uh, this new weapon here. It's a little roly-poly, but I find it to be uh, effective uh, in this stage alone. Which you know, whatever. It's you know. You gotta hand it to the uh, the creators. They came up with some pretty uh, some pretty nifty weaponry. It's not like the Mega Man games where like you know every fucking weapon was you know basically oh it's a heat ray oh it's a cold ray oh it's you know it's another fucking excuse to rebuild the same thing as you know something completely different when it's uh, you know the same old shit different day. Um, no, these, these these weapons actually bear the mark of difference. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go see if we can uh, sleep in this home too. Hey there, Chaco. Yeah, that <laughs> is a dangerous item I've got there. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. I'm a traveler. I'm a uh, I'm a man about town. I spy a hole in here. <laughs> Oh, you want to come look at this with me? Yeah, I'd like to go through. <laughs> I gotta, uh, I gotta take it easy with the innuendo. Uh, I want to uh, sleep on your bed too. Ooh, did I hear a little robotic uh, orgasm there? What do we got here? She's sleeping in the bed, and we have her lipstick. Ah. Uh, Sexual conquest. All right, now I've got my video issues sorted out more or less, so I can uh, save with a reasonable amount of confidence that uh, shit won't get all fucked up in the future. 
Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go off and find some jellyfish juice because that is the uh, obviously the only antidote to fire. And it is also what uh, Chaco so desperately craves after the, uh, the thrashing I just gave her. Um, now there's a, obviously a linkage here, you know, between, you know, this game and Metroid. But I don't think you ever actually had to harvest Metroid juice. Because that would have been just a little too weird, but, uh, you know... This game is not afraid to go there. It's not afraid to take those those kinds of risks. Let's uh let's go ahead and rock this guy's world. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Big tub of Vaseline. It has so many uses. And uh, I think I spied a heart container up there, so I think I'll go ahead and grab that as well. Um. Uh, Samus gives an inward sigh of pleasure. Um, I will only show this one instance because uh, it is uh, too dreadful dull to, to go back through all of them. And because I really don't give a fuck um, if, you know, people are watching this to actually learn how to play the game because, uh, you know, go read a fucking wiki or something. Um... This is all about the commentary, and obviously, um, my my public speaking skills are uh, evolving as rapidly as you know those amoeba in petri dishes do in the you know the government secret experiments to uh, develop a powerful anthrax. Okay, this is locked. There's like a weird series of like back and forth in this level that is just uh, fucking insane. I don't know what these things are supposed to be here. These uh, these things that throw out shock waves like uh, like something out of Street Fighter. But um, <clears throat> this one open. Oh, hey there. You know, this guy's reputation as a peeping Tom is seriously not being improved. <laughs> you look like a nice young man. <laughs> this, is, this is this reeks of a sting operation. Oh, my body says let's go, but my heart says no. <laughs> and he gives me his rusty key. Oh, you found it on the floor. That that improves my confidence. There's no keyhole. Oh, uh, well. Let's go see if we can uh, find other avenues to pursue here. Uh, I got, I got, I smell a, a little boss battle coming on here. <clears throat> okay. Now, if I turn you on, do you promise not to cause me any trouble? I'm asking you seriously. Okay. We're gonna do it. Alright buddy, now just take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What? Just because you're a robot does not mean... <laughs> you need the Kool-Aid guy to come and fucking smash your head in. You actually remind me of somebody on Rock House Forums. You remind me of Chidata. Um, this is a shout out to Chidata. You are officially Balrog. Um. <laughs> the personality and even your uh, your avatar are uh, are extremely alike. Um. So I, I hope you don't mind the uh, the comparison, but uh, you know there it is. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, I am Jesus fucking Christ! 
come back to avenge whomever all these fucking people are. Alright, we got sine waves going on. This feels like it's running a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the save stage and um, reconnoiter later. Um, this has been uh, Moniker uh, serving you with another uh, uh, delectable dose of uh, Let's Play ism. Uh, join me next time for um, you know more cheap innuendo and um, you know perhaps an impression or two. I don't know. I have to work on those. All right. Farewell, Earthlings.